Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Ham Radio with K0PIR, and I've got an old uh, BM800 microphone uh, that I'm going to modify. I'm going to change it from a side address to an end address uh, microphone, and I'm going to be using it with my Elecraft K3S. Uh, all you have to do is take apart the microphone, and to get to the element, there's uh, two screws. Uh, take off those two screws. They're little cheapies. I had a little bit of trouble with one of them. And I had to put a little pressure to uh, get it off of there, but uh, eventually got it off. And I found uh, using it as an end address uh, microphone uh, just is just a little bit different. If I ever decide to uh, put it on my desk and put it on a stand, uh, I'll be able to use it just as a desk mic. But I've liked the BM800 microphone. I've used it for a long time. And uh, with the ICOM radios. And uh, yeah, you can see I, I had to put a little pressure pull up a little bit. And then uh, loosen that screw to, to get the uh, cover off. And uh, once I get the cover off you'll see the uh, electric. There it is. The electric mic element. And it's just on that brown, uh, black plastic piece has a couple of wires attached to it and uh, if you're using it uh, just as it is as it comes from the factory uh, you want to be talking into the, uh, the label where it says BM800 uh, that's where the uh, mic element is that's the direction it's facing so uh, I pulled it out and all I need to do is cut that uh, black plastic off uh, instead of uh, taking the two screws out there's a couple of little screws holding it in instead of taking it out I'm just gonna cut that round piece off and uh, turn it uh, horizontally and, and stick it back into the uh, gold piece uh, of the microphone and uh, to do that I, I used a little Dremel tool and uh, I was able to get the, the blade in there to cut the cut the plastic and uh, I, I didn't have to use anything to really mount it into the uh, gold piece. There's foam in there, and that black plastic is just the right size. It fits in snug uh, into that foam. Uh, once I get the, the black plastic piece off of there, I'm going to be careful not to uh, cut the wires. And, of course, uh, keep my fingers out of the way. I didn't take any pictures of this, and I, I probably should have done that, but it's a simple uh, simple little operation. And I'll show you, I cut it just enough, and I think that I can just bend it uh, bend it off of there. And uh, and then eventually it just comes apart, uh, and the wires stay attached to it. So that's a BM800 microphone I got off eBay, uh, I think it was $20 uh, years ago uh, when I first got my ICOM 7300. And yeah, there's a lot of different versions of it, the BM800, um, and I think they're all pretty much the same. Uh, they're just really cheap Chinese microphones, uh, but they, they, they are pretty, uh, uh, I mean they look good and uh, they sound good. Uh, I've used it with uh, ICOM and now the Elecraft, and you'll see what it sounds like after uh, after I get this done. I just bent it over and uh, wiggled it a little bit, and finally it uh, it came off. But it does sound good. It sounds good with the Elecraft. It sounds good with the ICOM radios. It's a uh, it's the electric uh, condenser mic and you don't need the phantom power with it. The radio pr provides the power to it, uh, plenty of power for it. Uh, in the description, uh, when you look on eBay or Amazon, you'll see that it needs phantom power, and that's a bunch of baloney. You don't need the phantom power. Um, and I'll show you that inside the little brass or plastic uh, top, there's foam. And if I just slide that in there and... Uh, got lucky I didn't push it all the way to the very end I wanted to leave a little air gap between the foam and the uh, and the element 
Let it fit in there nice and snug. I don't think it's going to go in anywhere. And I got this idea from another friend, uh, um, Andy, uh, WB0OAF, uh, over by Sioux City, Iowa, or Sioux Falls, uh, South Dakota. And uh, he gave me the idea to do it, so uh, real simple. And once I, once I got it stuck in there, I can just put the piece back on and the, put the screws in. And I'll be ready to go. I really enjoyed this Elacraft K3. I've got some videos on it. I've uh, been on the Breakfast Club with it. And on Thursday and Saturday, I uh, uh, get on the Breakfast Club net. And I'm net control uh, one hour uh, each of those days. And you'll see me uh, operating the, either the Elacraft or the ICOM 7610. And I stream that live so you can uh, listen and, and see what it sounds like. And uh, once I get uh, once I get the screws in, I'll put it back together, and you'll see how easy it is to get it back together, and uh, of course uh, take it apart. I ended up uh, using a, a different audio. I was talking as I was doing that, but the radio was so loud that uh, you couldn't really hear me. My microphone. Uh, was just above the radio, so the radio really drowned out my voice. Uh, like I said, I've got a, I've got some posts on my website, www.k0pir.us. And if you just uh, go to the search field, type in BM800, uh, it'll bring up some posts that I have on this microphone and uh, where I got it from on eBay and, of course, the, the accessories that I got. I got a Y cable for it. And uh, you don't need, uh, you don't really need anything else. I, I use Vox with it. I like using Vox with it. It's it's pretty uh, pretty good. And uh, of course, I've got a foot switch that uh, I can use if I need to. Uh, once those screws are back in, I'll uh, put the cover back on. Uh, the black uh, black piece around the uh, circuit board there. So after about 10 minutes uh, of working on this thing, I'll have a end address microphone. I can talk right into the end of it. Okay, I'll slide the, uh, the black uh, metal sleeve over it. There's a little notch in that sleeve that uh, fits into the uh, brass piece. And you got to line it up just right. And that's so uh, when it's a side address, that label lines up with the element. So you talk into that uh, BM800 label there. And the little uh, black plastic piece or metal piece screws on. And uh, once that's done, just got to connect the cable and uh, set it up for the radio. And to set it up for the... I uh, took that... Uh, that foam I had on there, I decided I didn't really need it. Um, so I, I took it off. And I've got a pop screen for it, but I, I decided I really didn't need that either. Uh, listening to myself on there, I'm just going to use it uh, as it comes out of the factory. Okay, yeah, good morning, Jim. I sure do. And uh, it's, it's terrific. Uh, I think you said a French press. I use one of those sometimes myself. Uh, good uh, good copy on you and a, and a few other stations. Uh, I, I don't know if the band's in that great a shape for me right now. Uh, I was looking at the solar activity, and uh, I think it, that it probably has something to do with it. But uh, you're coming in real good, Jim. And I'm listening to uh, the Utah SDR, too. Thank <laughs> you.